Back over here by the fire department. I got a really strong signal. It was five, seven inches down there, but I got trouble like tracking it down. On this here, it says President. I think it's like a suspenders. I'll get a close up of that at the end there, and I get back to that, and I find something good. I'll get back. HD Distant uh, Sons Philadelphia. I don't know what that is. Okay, get back and find something else. Okay, guys, I'm back from my hunt. Uh, this turned out to be a pretty interesting uh, find. I looked it up online. It's uh, H. Distant Sons. Uh, Phil, Philada, which I think is short for Philadelphia. Uh, it's a saw manufacturing company. Um, this particular design, uh, the original one was a, a eagle, and then after his sons uh, joined him in his business, then they came to this design, which then then added the son to it, and this dated from 1865 to 1871. So. That is pretty awesome. N no other parts of the saw. Uh, but that could have been where maybe these have been coming from. These might have been part of that as well. You know, the rivets. But I'm not sure on that. That's just a guess. But I got another rivet today. Um, this actually turned out to be pretty cool too. Um, it's a suspender. Um, it's a President Suspender Buckle. It was manufactured in 1882 by the C.A. Egerton in Shirley, Massachusetts. Hence the name Shirley, which is on the back. I saw a couple of these on online. They're in pretty bad shape. It's got the patent date up in here. And I thought it was like 1980, and I was like, oh, well, what a bummer. You know, it's not that old, but it's like 1880. Is August like 23rd patented August 23rd um, 80 so I would assume 1880 so that's like in really good shape considering the um, the age um, another interesting find there it was kind of dark so I'm pretty sure it's just pewter it says uh, 200 years proud it's got 1775 to 1975. Little soldier there holding onto a rifle. And on the back side, it's got like the Marine Corps logo, I do believe. And maybe Coast Guard up here, I'm not sure. But when you when you drop it, it sounds more like pewter than it. It doesn't ring like silver. See? So, but it's still a very cool find. Got, um, this gear. Um, shotgun shell casing, 12 gauge nitro clubs, uh, Remington UMC, uh, lit off a perfume thing, I think a 22 shell. This is like lead, I think. Don't know. It's got a hole on the top right there. Um, this. I don't know. I don't think it's anything special. I thought that was a musket ball at first, but it looks like a screw on top for maybe like a lamp or something. I don't know, but it was gold plated at one point in time. I think it's copper. Um, got this key. It says uh, American Lock Company USA. This was neat. Uh, Boy Scout pledge sign there. And I looked this up online too, and now that sign they hold up three fingers instead of just two. So this is like before the newer ones that have the three fingers holding up like that. This was two. I couldn't get it like a date off of it, but I did see one on uh, eBay. 
the background is supposed to be blue but all the paint's worn off and the pin's gone off the back but still that's my third piece of Boy Scout stuff that I've found so far that was kind of neat this is a from the 1940s this is a Luxor on it it's like a cosmetic company and it used to be the mirror I couldn't find the bottom of it, but the mirror is all worn off. It's got like a little brass ring that holds the, the glass in. That's still intact. That was kind of neat. Um, some pull tabs. A piece of a Hot Wheel. Um, lots of copper pennies today. A few zinc lens. Some dimes. One nickel, one quarter. That's about it. Oh, uh, best of luck on all your hunts. Take care and happy hunting. Let you guys are close with those again. Real happy with those. Turn that over. And the uh, old rivet. You can get a closer up of that. That's pretty good. There we go. Alright guys, take care, happy hunting.